Thank you for joining Kimberfit Lifestyle today for this yoga flow. I'll take you through this sequence three times. Our first time through, we're gonna take about two to three breaths in each move. And as we get through our sets, we will up our tempo slightly. Bring yourself to mountain pose. That's feet shoulder width apart, hands, palms facing forward at my sides, really lengthening that spine. On your next inhale, you'll bring your hands overhead, nice strong arms into upward salute. As we breathe in these moves, pay close attention to your stomach filling with air as you inhale and contracting and emptying as you exhale. On your next exhale, you'll release your arms, keeping that back nice and flat as you complete a standing forward fold. Fingertips or palms on the ground. If you're not there yet, place your hands on your shin, working towards reaching that ground. For the next few breaths, we'll move from a halfway forward fold back to our full forward fold. On your next inhale, you'll place your hands right above your shins, flatten your back and gaze forward. Exhale back into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway forward fold. Exhale, letting all that tension release into our forward fold. From here, we'll walk ourselves or hop your feet back into a plank position. So ground your hands, pushing through the floor with your palms, shoulders away from your ears. Tighten that core and breathe here. On your next exhale, slowly lower your body down about halfway to the ground, keeping those elbows into your sides, pressing away from the floor. Moving through Chaturanga. After we lower our body, untuck your feet, pressing the backs of your feet on the mat into upward facing dog or cobra if we're not there yet. Flipping our toes back on the mat into downward facing dog. If you can't fully extend your legs yet, go ahead and have your knees bent, working towards a full extension. Find stillness in your downward facing dog as we take a few deep breaths. On your next inhale, bring your left foot forward in between your hands, press through the ground. As you exhale, arms come overhead, nice strong shoulders into high lunge. On your next inhale, place your hands back on the floor, framing your foot back into plank pose as we move through a chaturanga. Again, we lower our body halfway down, tuck our toes under, pressing against that mat. Inhale into the upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, you'll bring your right foot forward in between your hands. Press through the ground. Exhale your chest up into a high lunge. On your next inhale, drop your hands to the floor to frame your foot, releasing that right foot back into a plank pose. One more time through Chaturanga. Lower that body down halfway, tuck your toes, press away from the ground into upward facing dog. 
exhale into downward facing dog. One more chaturanga here. Inhale yourself back to plank pose. Exhale yourself down halfway. Tuck your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Remember really pressing those legs away from the mat, the tops of your feet against the mat. Exhale, downward dog. Walk your feet to your hands. If you're able, keep your legs as straight as possible. Let your neck hang. Let go of all that tension and stress you may hold in your shoulder blades and upper back area. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway forward fold. Back is flat, gazing forward. Exhale, back to forward fold. Inhale, halfway forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway forward fold. Exhale, really reaching for that ground, forward fold. Inhale, arms nice and strong up overhead. Exhale, take a few breaths here. That completes our first sequence. So for the second sequence, we'll move through a little quicker, doing one to two breaths in each move. This sequence is great for beginners or all levels for a nice warm up before you go into a tougher sequence. Returning to mountain pose and taking a couple breaths, we're gonna get ready to jump right into our second sequence. On your next inhale, we'll bring our hands overhead into upward salute. Remember, nice strong shoulders here. Exhale into forward fold bend. Inhale to halfway forward fold, gazing forward, back flat. Exhale full forward fold inhale halfway forward fold exhale full forward fold again walking or hopping our feet back into plank going through our chaturanga lower halfway tuck those toes keep the elbows in upward facing dog inhaling exhale downward facing dog on your next inhale you'll bring your left foot forward in between your hands pressing through the ground exhaling into a high lunge once we're in high lunge we'll take a breath here on our next exhale, we'll lower our hands back to the ground, framing our foot. Inhale, back to plank pose. Exhale, go through your chaturanga. Lowering halfway down, flip our toes, upward facing dog. Exhale, flip our toes back over into downward facing dog. Hips shooting to the sky or bent knees, depending where you're at. On your next inhale, bring that right foot forward in between your hands, pressing through the ground, raising to your high lunge. Inhale. On your next exhale, go ahead and place your hands back to the ground, framing that foot right into our plank pose and into our chaturanga. Slowly lowering yourself, tuck those toes upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog 
keeping our legs as straight as possible, walk our feet to our hands into forward fold. Inhale, halfway forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway forward fold. Exhale, really reaching for that ground, forward fold. Inhale, arms overhead, nice big breath, strong arms. Separate that waist from your abdomen. Exhale, back to mountain pose. Way to pick up the tempo on that one. So for our final sequence, we'll go even a little faster. So we'll be going with our breath. So every inhale and exhale, you should be completing a movement. Now, everyone's breath is different, so only you know your tempo. Find your breath and focus here. And just remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get. Inhale, those arms overhead into upward salute. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway fold. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into our plank position. Exhale, lowering slowly. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale as you bring your left foot forward in between your hands. Exhale as you lift up into high lunge. Inhale as you bring your hands back to frame your foot into plank pose. Exhale as you chaturanga. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. On your inhale, bring that right foot forward. Exhale, chest up high lunge. Inhale back to plank pose. Exhale as you chaturanga. Lower yourself slowly, flip your toes, press up into upward dog. Flip those toes, press those hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway forward fold, hands on your shin. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands overhead into upward salute. Exhale into mountain pose. Thank you for joining Kimberfield Lifestyle today for this yoga flow. Let's end with a few deep breaths. So go ahead and inhale, hands overhead. Hands will come together at the top and bring your hands heart center. Two more times, nice big inhale, reach, extend those arms, hands together, heart center. One more, inhale, reach, like a string was pulling, pulling those fingertips, hands together to heart center, and namaste. Don't forget to subscribe to Kimberfit Lifestyle for more workouts and stretches. Take care.